Hello. I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an overview of the syllabus, even though I'm out sick this week, um, and also talk to you about your first couple of assignments in 13 or two. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the syllabus. So your syllabus is available on our Canvas shell. Um, if you go to the syllabus tab and um, this information is there for you, I just wanted to make sure we went over it. Um, so as far as emails, you guys know my email, especially if you're in my class last semester. Um, if you were not in my class last semester, the TCC email that I have is very similar to yours. It just doesn't have the my that you guys have. So rachel.green at tccd.edu. Um, you can still email me at the rgreen7 at aisd.net. That's totally fine. Um, whatever you find easier, as long as you email me somewhere if you need anything. Um, as far as office hours, um, I have in-person office hours at ACCHS for everybody, um, freshmen and juniors um, from four to five. Um, you know, I would appreciate it if you let me know that you're coming to those office hours so I can kind of make a plan for what you need me to help you with. Um, but that's when I'm physically going to be on campus after class hours. Uh, as far as virtual office hours, uh, TCC has me holding office hours on Fridays from five to six. Um, but of course, if you need any other time, just let me know. We can figure something out, whether that's, you know, a time that you're on campus and I'm also free or a virtual time um, that we can Zoom as well. Um, I'm typically not available on weekends, like Saturday, Sunday, and I'm not available uh, Tuesday, Thursdays, anytime after 5 p.m. because um, I teach at TCC Northeast Campus. So anytime other than that. Um, as far as, let me see, what else do I need to talk about? We talked about the course description during our last um, Friday session that we just had. Um, so we talked about how we have four key competencies in this class. Um, so we have critical thinking. Um, we have, um, in general, just kind of like a, a you know, teamwork and responsibility type thing. Um, we have evaluation and whatnot, communication. Those are all essential. Um, you can read this at your leisure, of course. Uh, and yeah, I don't think there's really anything else that's super different from 1301, um, but I know there are a couple of you, a handful of you um, in this class this semester who were not in my class last semester. So just to clarify, um, our grading criteria is pretty standard. So 90 to 100 is an A, 80 to 89 is B, and so on and so forth, pretty typical. Um, I'll be uploading those drop dates and stuff like that later, but you guys won't need them, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, the final exam window is our last week of class, naturally. And then as far as an overview of the work, so we are, like I mentioned last Friday, we are going to be doing way more reading than we did last semester in 1301. Um, or that you did last semester in 13 with Mr. Vivian, if you had him. Um, and so I won't be assigning independent reading this semester because I'm doing pretty much all of the reading in class. Um, we will be covering one drama this semester um, and we will be doing short stories and whatnot. So there won't really be any novels that we're covering, just one drama and then a bunch of short stories and obviously a few poems because you know you can't really have English 1302 without poems, but anyway. Um, so no required textbooks. Um, I will be supplying all of the texts that you need, so no worries there. Um, and then we, you can read this if you want to at your leisure, but this is basically just the academic speak for the goals that we're gonna accomplish. A few keywords, um, you know, we're going to work on research processes, uh, we're going to synthesize primary and secondary sources, um, which we talked about last week, synthesis, combining multiple different texts into one meaning. We talked about that. We did an example lesson last week as well on Friday um, with the mountain climbers and whatnot. Um, so nothing too scary as far as that. It just sounds academically complex, but it's not. Um, 
analyzing and interpreting a variety of texts for ethical and logical uses. Um, so a lot of the stuff that we look at in 1302 is based not only on rhetorical um, analysis, meaning like analyzing the writing and stuff that the authors are doing, and then also ethical analysis, meaning is it morally correct? Is it morally apt? Do we have conversations we need to have about that? And then logical, of course, being pretty obvious, like does it actually make sense? Um, as far as number four, write in a style that clearly communicates meaning, builds credibility, and inspires belief or action. Um, we are in this class focused more on literary analysis, uh, even in our research paper. Um, and so we're going to be focusing most on communicates meaning. Are you able to communicate what you're trying to say? Um, and then are you able to build credibility in your subject? No one is expecting you to be an absolute expert on whatever it is you're writing about during the semester. Um, everyone understands that, you know, that's not the case. But um, that being said, we expect you to present yourself with confidence and um, that you have done your research to appear that you have that credibility. Um, so that's something we're going to be working on is just kind of building your confidence because as you'll find as you go forward within a lot of these other, you know, upper level college classes, that's half of the battle is just appearing confident in what you do and having the resources to back up what you say. So um let's see we know about mla um we will not be using apa or anything else it's just mla still which is good because we're familiar with that critical thinking skills we're familiar with those uh communication skills yes obviously that's what i just talked about being able to um, write effectively to communicate what you're trying to say personal responsibility i do feel like i want to talk about that a little bit um so those of you who were in my class last semester, you know how this works. Um, if you were not, it's been a while since you were officially in my class. I know we've met on Fridays and stuff, but in general, um, you know, I'm not upset if you don't turn things in. I'm not upset, but I'm also still going to give you a zero because you didn't turn it in. Um, so just, you know, holding yourself to that level of responsibility of this is the due date, it's on the syllabus, I'm going to turn it in at this time. And if you don't, I mean, you know, accept what you get. Um, for those of you who are in my class last semester, we did have multiple opportunities for extra credit. We only have one this semester, just one. Um, so please make sure that you're keeping up with deadlines. Um, you know, even if you need to turn in some like halfway work that's like not completely completed, um, but it's what you have at the time that the deadline happens, turn it in better than turning in nothing. Um, because again, we only do have one tiny little point of extra credit. So um, just, you know, that's, that's my one note about that. Um, let's see, teamwork. Uh, I mean, we will not have a group research project, which um, I did for a reason because I, I think I, I really want to see what you guys have to say individually. Um, and I know with group projects, I mean, I, I, I trust all of you guys, but I know that sometimes the like distribution of work can be kind of unfair. And I don't feel like that's an accurate way to assess all of your capabilities. So it's all going to be individual work. But um, that being said, within class, we'll still have discussions and we'll still have discussion boards and peer reviews and things like that that will require you to work with your teammates. Um, so that is part of your participation grade, how well you work with your teammates. Um, I expect constructive criticism and constructive conversations and not anything that's like super negative. And when I say that, you can offer feedback to help people improve their work right like you don't have to say like oh my god like it's so amazing it's so great no you don't have to say that but you can say this is where I think you need to improve or eh, are you sure about that choice just just be nice about it and be constructive um that's what we're looking for because as you go further into the academic field no matter what discipline you're in even if you're going into a workforce occupation later after this program um you're still going to need to be able to take and deliver constructive criticism. So that's one of the skills that we work on in this class. Um, so yeah, 
uh, attendance. You guys know all about this. You're going to be here every day anyway, unless you're sick like me today. So, you know, <laughs> it's fine. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do classroom conduct. I don't really want to talk to you guys about this because you're all amazing. And I know you're going to uh, respect your fellow classmates. Um, I know you're going to respect me. Um, I know that you're not going to give me disrespectful or demeaning language um, or give your classmates disrespectful or demeaning language. I know that's not going to happen. Um, I know you're going to arrive on time. Um, I know you're going to stay there for the whole time that we have class um, because you love me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you're just going to stay there in general, right? Um, and I know you're going to engage in class discussions appropriately. Um, I also know you're going to pay attention and not be consumed by social media or whatever. Um, and let's see. You can give me feedback on the instructor evaluation. Um, that's in WebAdvisor. I ask that you do that at the end of the course um, because that just makes sense, right? Um, as far as actual grades, um, so those of you who were in my class last semester will remember this. Those of you who are not, this is new for you, so I'll just go over this. Um, so we have several different categories. We have participation, um, and that doesn't mean that I just automatically give you 100 for every component that falls into the participation category, right? It, I'm classifying participation in terms of things that we do in class or that are, in my opinion, lower in worth than a quiz grade, right? So consider it like a homework grade, basically. Um, so you will get points for daily assignments, in-class discussions, discussion boards that I assign outside of class, uh, any reading group discussions. I don't know that those will happen a lot this semester, honestly. Uh, that's really in reference to articles and stuff like that. Um, paper rough drafts, those uh, count as a participation grade. Um, and then paper self-assessment. So again, not all of the participation grades will automatically be 100. That's not what that means. It just means that you are actively engaging in the content and I am able to give you feedback on that. Um, and my feedback will not always be 100%, um, because honestly, if you are doing 100% perfect in everything, I'm grading wrong, right? Because this is the first time you're taking this kind of class. Um, so, Quizzes then are one step above that. Um, so like it says, the goal of the quizzes is to be able to demonstrate that you have understanding of the content that we've covered in class. Um, so they should be viewed as just like kind of a benchmark to judge where you're at right now. Um, but obviously they are worth a little more than the participation grades. So here's the part you care about. The literary argument essay, the research project, the final exam. There is a midterm exam somewhere in there. I did not include it because the midterm, I mean, I didn't include it on the syllabus. The midterm exam covers everything up to when that midterm exam happens. And it's typically multiple choice, maybe one or two little short answers. Um, it's, it's more of a quiz than it is an actual test. Um, so it's just kind of a midway point to mark where you're at. Um, but the main things that you care about are the literary argument essay, the research project, and the final exam. Um, so the literary argument essay, we will have two of those. Um, so each one is going to be about two to three pages. Um, and basically, uh, the first one, you're going to be uh, writing that after we covered several different texts in class. Um, and if you had me last semester, you're familiar with this, we read three or four different short stories, and then I gave you the option to pick any of those, and you wrote about whatever one you wanted to, right? Um, so same kind of thing. We'll cover a bunch of different uh, texts, and then you're able to write about any of those that you want to for your literary argument essay. And then we'll cover more texts, and then you'll pick one of those that you want, and then you'll write about that. Um, so same sort of thing, you just have two of them this time. Um, and we will be covering poetry and short stories, like I said, um, as well as drama. Um, so the research project, that's, that's where this comes in. Um, the research project is most likely going to be over the drama. Um, and so you can expect for the literary argument essays to be over the fiction and over the poetry. 
and then you can expect for the research project to be over the drama. And I know you've all had drama class because you had theater, right? Um, when you were freshmen or whenever. Um, and so I'm expecting you to, you know, have some basic skills as far as that. But of course, we will go over and just, you know, reintroduce you to a few concepts before we cover that. That probably won't happen um, until March-ish, something like that. So, um, and then the final exam, of course, uh, is pretty typical of most TCC exams. It's mostly going to be writing and like a little bit of multiple choice, but mostly writing to um, prove to me that you have absorbed the skills, the rhetorical skills, and the analysis skills that the course requires. Uh, so if you look at the grading scale, participation slash homework grades are only worth 10%. So it's great that you do those. I encourage you to do those, obviously, because they most likely will be the easiest things you can do within this course, um, but it is only worth 10%. The quizzes are 20%. Uh, the literary argument essays are 15% a piece. Um, and then the research project is 25%. So the drama portion of the class is not the time to stop paying attention. Um, the drama portion of the class is the time to really dig in and start taking notes and, you know, just kind of be aware of what's going on. Um, the research project, same thing. It goes, um, I mean, obviously with it, I've literally just said that. Wow, I'm tired. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the, but the final exam is what I meant to say. The final exam is 30% of your grade. Um, so obviously keep all of your notes, um, keep everything. Um, I know PATH has taught you this in the past as well, um, but keep all of your notes until the very end of class um, because all of that can help you on the final exam. And that's all I'll say about that for now. So um, let's see. Anything else that I need to talk to you about? Do, 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 do. As far as writing center stuff, um, please visit their website and contact them if you need any help. Um, their policies based on COVID cases and whatnot are, you know, changing and in flux. Um, so just go on the website and check out what they have to say about that. Unlike last semester, I am not going to require any lab visits because of the whole wibbly wobbly. COVID situation. So I'm not going to require anything because I think that will just make things way more complicated for us. Um, but just know that that is a resource. I know many of you found that helpful last semester. Um, so please feel free to do that. I always get a receipt when you go there. Um, so that's totally fine if you want to do that, but um, you don't have to. I'm never going to require that this semester. Um, as far as make a worker extra credit, again, for the benefit of those of you, those of you who didn't have me last semester, um, if I offer extra credit, I offer it to everybody. Um, so I already told you guys on Friday that the one piece of extra credit that I would be offering is the independent reading assignment, right? So if you want to be thinking about right now what book you want to read for independent reading, it is not required but it is your one piece of extra credit this semester. So uh, in the past, last semester, when we did independent reading as a grade, um, I wanted you to read something that was young adult and above. So no Captain Underpants or anything like that, but like, it's okay if you wanna read a young adult book, it just needs to be something with some sort of mature themes or something like that, that can be reflected. Oh my God, my Roomba is deciding to clean right now. Hang on one second. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just at home right now. And so like, there's, there's just chaos going on. There are cats, there are Roombas, it's whatever. Okay. Anyways, we're almost done. I promise. Hang in there with me. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, let's see, where are we? Okay, make up extra credit. I talked to you about the independent reading. I will most likely talk to you about that in more detail later, um, but just know that you can pick pretty much any book as long as it's young adult or above. Um, please do email me with your choice because the last thing you want is to just like start reading a book thinking you're going to get extra credit for it. And then I come back and say, mm, no, this is not the level we wanted. So just email me the choice that you want to read and I will approve it or not. Um, but yeah, uh, late work, don't turn in late work. Just don't do it unless you're out with COVID. That's different. 
um, or you know other emergencies that are documented. Uh, do, 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 do. As far as plagiarism, that's definitely not tolerated. Um, and so you will get a zero for that. Um, that's all I have to say about that. And yeah, you can read all this other stuff at your leisure. There's a link for COVID protocols, but I want you to default to ACCHS COVID protocols before you default to TCC, okay? Since you're physically on the T, I mean, on the ACCHS campus. Do, 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 do. Okay, so here's one of the things that we really care about, right? So um, this is your syllabus schedule. Um, now, obviously some of this can change depending on what happens during the semester. And um, you know, if I feel like we need further instruction in certain points or if anything crazy happens and we need to change our schedule. Um, but as of right now, this is what it looks like. Um, so you know, and I'll talk about this in just a second, but so you know you have a self-reflection due um, on the 20th, which is a Thursday, this Thursday. Um, your syllabus acknowledgement is due on Friday. Um, and it says in class, obviously I will not be in class um, since I'm out. So if you'll just email that to me, you can email it to me at either the TCC address or the Arlington address. I don't really care. I'll get them either way. Um, but just email that to me by 121. I've included the little like statement that you have to copy on Canvas in our, in our uh, Canvas shell. So if you just want to copy that and fill in your name, that's totally fine. You don't have to have a parent sign or anything like that. As a college student, you are totally welcome to just go ahead and fill in your name and email that to me. Um, but you're just basically acknowledging that, yes, the syllabus has been gone over and I agree with what is in it. Um, so anyway, um, going forward, uh, you can see here in the second column, we have the focuses of what we're covering every week. Um, and then we have the major assignments due. Now, this does not mean that there aren't smaller participation slash homework assignments within each of these weeks. Um, these are just the main assignments, the major assignments. So you see we have quizzes, we have the paper dates. Um, none of this should really change, like I said, unless we have something crazy happen or, um, you know, for whatever reason. But in general, these should be fine. And you can already see the play we're doing. It's Hamlet. There it is. Woohoo. Um, and if you're already panicking because Hamlet is Shakespeare and you're like, oh, God, no. Excuse me. I love Hamlet. And I, I will just tell you this already. I, I have missed teaching it. And so I am so freaking excited to teach you Hamlet. Like, I'm so excited. Um, so please don't stress out about that. I'm going to give you all the help in the world. And I'm going to make sure that you enjoy it as much as one can possibly enjoy Shakespeare. So anyway, <coughs> I'm about to go into, into a coughing fit. So I'm going to stop right now. Um, but please go ahead and check out our Canvas shell um, and make sure you complete our self-reflection. Uh, those dates, again, if I can just scroll back up, thanks, computer, um, are the 20th at midnight, which is Thursday. Um, so for all sections, so never mind if you're in the Tuesday or the Wednesday section, um, it is still due on Thursday at midnight, and that's to give me ample time to give you, you know, your grade um, back on that assignment. Um, don't stress out about that. If you've been in my class before, this is very similar to the memoir assignment, and you guys know how I graded on that. Um, and if you've not been in my class, just, you know, don't worry about it. Just do it. <laughs> do it according to the assignment. Um, do not stress out about it. This is an opportunity for me to see your writing skills and how you function within the terms of an assignment in a college level English course. So anyways, I've talked enough. I hope you guys have a great day and a great week. And I hope you stay healthy and I will talk to you later. So auf Wiedersehen, goodbye, au revoir, adios, arrivederci, and good luck.